Eliminating daily scrub. Hey, sure, I'm going down to the stock room. Can you hold down the fort? I'm all over it, Winsong. Right on. We're here about the payphone? Thanks, but we've already got one. No, we're here to fix it. Oh, cool. It's in there. Right. Sure. Can I, can I get a burger? Go for it, dude. Girls in the back. All right, cool. It's bad. It's really bad. We gotta take it in right away. Oh, I didn't know it was so serious. Thanks, you guys. Don't mention it. Oh, and tell Winston Mesquite Pete says hi. Gotcha, bruh. Later, dudes. What happened to the phone? The phone bros took it away. What? It wasn't even broken. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Was there anything suspicious about these guys? Not at all. They were totally skegging. In fact, they said aloha from your bud Mesquite Pete. I should have known. Ever since that restaurant opened, they've been assaulting me with one childish prank after another. You mean we've been bamboozled? Precisely. Last week, they locked a herd of sheep in my stock room. Harley. I'm not going to take this anymore. Battle station shred. This is war. Aye, aye, Captain. What are you doing? This is a performance art piece for my independent study. Huh? I call it Jessica being humiliated at the Moon Beach by AJ. Watch closely and you'll see what a fool you made of yourself. Well, you're the fool because AJ is history. You know what they say. History repeats itself. Not this time. I'm never going to think about AJ again. Good luck. That's it! What's that? Earplugs. These are for the next time I say something stupid. AJ. So sweet. Earrings are sweet. Earplugs are just weird. Where do you think you're going? Next door. It would be rude of me not to thank him first. Now wouldn't it, Lila? Hey. They fit perfectly. Thanks. Come on, man. You're welcome. Look, now's not a good time. We're, uh, we're in the middle of rehearsals. So I'll watch. Actually, we've, uh, We've got a lot of work to do. Work? You're in a band. You wouldn't understand. I'll explain it to you sometime later. Yeah, sure. Much later. Let's go, AJ. That's right. 200 pounds of your smelliest squid. Just leave it at the front door. Later, Giuseppe. Captain, I've launched the first missile. What are you talking about? This afternoon, Mesquite Pete is about to be up to his armpits in a truckload of stinky squid. You're a genius. Yeah, and I got a really good deal on it. Only $200. Well done. Wait, who's paying for this? I told him to charge it to the Moon Beach. What? Look, we're supposed to cost them money, not the other way around. Uh-oh. I better cancel that shipment of billy goats. Those dudes cost a fortune. We take the ship out to the middle of the ocean. And then we dive off the ship and feed the man-eating sharks. That sounds great. What? Well, they said we could watch from the safety cage, but I told them we didn't need it. Maybe we should start smaller. You know, like man-eating goldfish? That sounds like the old Liz talking. No, no, I'm with you. I'd just really like to finish high school in one piece. There's got to be something we can do. Karen's mother almost fainted when she saw her tattoo. She got grounded for five weeks. Isn't that cool? Yeah. <laughs> what should I get? A peace sign or a fish? Whichever hurts less. How about butterflies? I bet they don't hurt. You want to bet? See that? That hurt more than the time I tried to jump snake cannon on my motorcycle. 
Did you know that there's half just down at the bottom of that canyon? <laughs> All right, who's first? Me. Finally, a customer. You guys open? Yeah, of course we're open. Just don't have any customers. They're probably down at Mesquite Pete's. They got this new squid burger. It's incredible. Line's halfway around the block. Too bad I'm allergic, huh? Thanks for the squid. Let's get Pete's. You wouldn't understand. I can't believe you're letting AJ get to you like this. AJ? AJ who? Why do you put up with that? It's so not you. I know. I can't explain it either. But AJ's different. Oh, please. Snap out of it. You're acting like a giddy teenager with a crush. I am a giddy teenager with a crush. I told you. Musicians are trouble. You also told me your hair is naturally red. What do you want? The band's taking a break. You know, I thought uh, maybe we could do something. I can't. I'm busy. Really? Look, I'm not about to drop everything and come running because you have five minutes. Jessica. I'm not your halftime entertainment. That's more like it. You stood up to him. I did, didn't I? You didn't let him play any game. Yeah, you put him in his place. Yeah. Aren't you proud of yourself? Yeah. No. It's different this time, Lila. What if he's the one? Now this is on the edge. Yeah. And the best part is, we're going to a wild party. It doesn't say anything about wild. Come on, we got the invitation at a tattoo parlor. Gotta be wild. Downtown, warehouse, bring your own bail money. We got us a party, Thelma. I don't know, Enid. Party's in a bad neighborhood. And it doesn't start until 11. Which is a perfect time for a party to start. I can't wait to show off our new tattoos. We are the baddest. Um, Enid? Your tattoo is rubbing off. <gasps> oh, darn. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> Come on, Fred. Push harder. Push. We gotta get this inside before Mesquite Pete finds out we stole it. You can't freeze, Wimbro. <laughs> well. That was one hairy moment. I think I saw my life flash before my eyes. I've had a good life. What now? Well, can't just leave her here. Why not? Well, for one thing, it makes it really hard on the customers to come in if there's a giant mesquite pizza waitress blocking the door. Oh, yeah. Wait. I got it. Got what, dude? <laughs> Looks like a job for Winston Egbert, MD. Balloon surgeon to the stars. This is for the Moon Beach. Freedom! Vengeance is mine! <laughs> no one messes with the Moon Beach! Hello, Egbert. Let's keep Pete. I don't believe this. What are you doing here? Come on, we're going to a party. Are you crazy? It's the middle of the night. So what? <laughs> Let me get this straight. First you blow me off at the moon beach. Then you act like you don't even know me at rehearsal. Now you bring me flowers and everything's supposed to be okay? Look, I'm sorry. You just came by at a bad time. Well, this is a bad time for me. Okay. We'll compromise. I get to take you to this party, and you get to stay mad at me. Come on. The party's gonna rage. Okay. I'll go change. But I'm still mad at you. Thank you.
come to this? I didn't mean to kill her. It was an accident. An accident? Don't hurt me. Please. There's been enough unrest between our two burger joints. Today I'm calling a truce to show you that I'm good for my word. I'm returning your payphone. Boys, Little Rosa patched up. Okay, boss. I can't bear to see her like this. Truce. Truce. Ah. <laughs> Forgiveness rules. Come on, live it up. <laughs> Time to get wild. This is crazy. <laughs> oh no, we've got to stop it. Now we have to run after it. the love with the bad stuff. So it still comes out okay. Yeah. You are an amazing performance artist. Lady, I'm a bartender. Mango egg whip? <laughs> <laughs> Never been to a party like this before. I'm having such a good time. See what happens when you put me into your schedule? Look up. I know it seems like I've been blowing you off, but uh, I've got to explain something to you. I've been under a lot of pressure with the band. We only have a year to make it. I don't have a lot of time left. It's just my old man wants me to go to family business like his father did. So I convinced him to give me a year. Oh, what's the business? Oh, uh, you, uh, you, you ever heard of a uh, mortgage chatter house? Isn't that the place where they dress up like pirates and sing the daily special? Wow. You really are under a lot of pressure. See, that's why I have to totally focus on my music. As much as I like to focus on you. So, what are you saying? I'm saying I don't think I'm the type of guy you want to get involved with. My music's always going to come first. Hey, AJ. We need a guitarist, man. Come on up here. You'll be okay. I'll be fine, really. Go ahead. <laughs> I have never run so fast in my life. I guess my step class is finally paid off. Don't look at me. Hey, don't mess with me, man. <laughs> Why don't you do Twinkies go back to your little house on the prairie? Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, this road ain't big enough for the both of us, pal. Oh, yeah? Yeah, let's race. Or are you chicken? was amazing. Thanks. You're so talented. You can't waste your life serving chowder. Believe me, I know. Want to dance? Sure. So, uh, after everything I told you about myself, I'm surprised you're still here. I'm not going anywhere. Besides, 
in droves. <laughs> Trying to cause trouble, young lady? Double trouble! You don't break you up this party without a fight! Stop it! Cuff him, Merle! Oh, sir, you really just too well behaved, responsible girls! I'm on the honor roll and she's on the soccer team! Man, what about Velma and Louise living on the edge? Shut up, we're gonna be living in a cell! I'll tell you what. Now I'm gonna let you off with a warning. If you promise to go home, and behave yourselves. All right, that's it. You're going downtown. That's enough. Let's go. This is just starting to get good. Why do we have to go? <laughs> that was awesome. Let's go shoot bottle rockets off the top of Mercer Tower. You can do whatever you want. I'm going Come home. Come on, it's early. There's still a lot more adventure out there just waiting for us. It'll just have to wait. I'm exhausted. Time for Betty Bye. Enid. I'll never forget tonight. This isn't something we can do all the time. I mean, if we did, it wouldn't be as exciting, right? Enid? <sighs> did you ever have one of those nights, you know, you'll never forget as long as you live? Yeah, I went to this amazing party tonight. I met all these cool people. Really? It's an AJ thing. It just turned into this magical evening. Uh-huh. Wish you could have been there. Then again, <laughs> it's not really your scene. Yeah, you're probably right. So what about you? Did you beat Eden and Yahtzee again? Not exactly. <laughs> Good night. Is that glitter? And then Mesquite Pete pulled out his knife, and I said, I can take all five of you with my bare hands. Hey, can you get the door for me? Sure, bro. Why are they taking the milkshake machine? Thanks, man. Well, that just goes to show you what happens when you mess with Winston Egbert. Wow. <laughs>